Hey guys, welcome back to the third episode of Airflow 101. In this episode, let's talk about why I love using Apache Airflow and why you should consider using it. As a software engineer, there comes a point where you need a tool to orchestrate your workflows. And this is where Apache Airflow really fills the gap. In the next few slides, I will be covering some key features of Apache Airflow. Let's start with the CLI. I'm a kind of a person who really enjoys working with the CLI and Airflow has a very rich command line interface that empowers the user to perform a lot of functions from the terminal itself. The web UI. The web UI is packed with a number of features such as ad hoc queries, scan charts, etc., which essentially makes it one of the flagship features of Apache Airflow. Scheduling. Airflow is smart enough to schedule multiple tasks and keep track of missed SLAs. This is essentially one of the flagship features of Apache Airflow. Monitoring. The web UI has a bunch of tools to provide real-time monitoring of your workflows along with logs and all the alerts on your emails as well. Scalability. Depending upon your workload, you can scale your Airflow without any data loss. Resilience. On failure, each task can be retried multiple times. And the best part of Apache Airflow is that it is open source. That means it gets continuous development from developers around the globe with tons of extra features on every new release. Now let's take a quick example of how I use Apache Airflow in a day-to-day -day basis. I work with the middleware team and we need to keep track of latencies of all the APIs that hit our application and find the slowest one. So suppose I have three different machines and I use Apache Airflow to read logs from these three machines. Log contains data of how slow the APIs are and a lot of different data. But for us, the important stuff is the latency. Next, I clean the logs and fetch the data that is relevant to me. After that, I process the data on a Spark cluster and then dump it to a MySQL database for further analysis. A lot of things can go wrong here. Sometimes I'm unable to read data from any of my machine or sometimes I'm unable to process the data. But since I'm using Apache Airflow, I do not need to worry about these things. Airflow is able to handle all of this situation. I can retry tasks multiple times on failure. And using Apache Airflow, I'm able to author, schedule, and monitor my workflows. In the next episode, we will be covering core concepts of Apache Airflow and some of the advanced concepts as well. So, see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching.